So like a week ago, Master Seth five 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 ran by my profile and was like, "Tag you're it, slap," and I didn't even notice. So now here I am doing a tag video. I haven't done. Have I ever done one of these? I think this is the first time for me. So go easy on me. Don't slap me around a little bit because, you know, I'm a virgin to this whole responding to these tag things. So uh, they said to do five facts about yourself. But I tend to notice that a lot of people skimp out on this and they tend to say things that are just things anybody would know. I mean, who wants to hear about the fact that I love anime? If you've been on my profile, you know I love anime. If you've been on my profile, you know I love, you, you know the things I love. So I'm going to try and focus on things that you guys probably don't know or things that are mentioned too terribly often. All right, so the first factoid that you're going to get here, and these are the exciting revelations that are going to make your mind pop out, is I enjoy writing, though um, I don't really commit to it very much. To be honest, when I'm committed, I usually write only about, I'd say, 30 minutes a day or so. It's just a really fun little hobby I do on the side of everything else. I hardly ever finish any stories. My fan fictions are usually... Um, I would say good on fan fiction, particular level, but they're always riddled with a lot of grammatical errors and stuff that are only there because I don't proofread them. I have a lot of original stories that float around in my mind that I develop a little bit, but how often do I actually finish them? Not too terribly often. I've got about 10 or 11 different story ideas in my head that none of them I've ever completed. All of them, which I think are brilliant ideas, I'm just afraid that I won't be able to execute them in the exact way that I want to. I'm a very paranoid writer. I hardly ever get around to actually writing anything because I, I'm usually not proud of what I write. So I've just decided from here on out I'm just going to do it for fun. Number four, I am a huge fan of the show Stargate SG-1. It is incredible. Let me explain what's so cool about Stargate SG-1. It is kind of like a more laid-back version of Star Trek. It's The dialogue is a bit more natural. The characters feel more realistic, in my opinion. And the stories are generally better written. I'll be honest, I just think Stargate SG-1 is a better written show than pretty much any of the Stargate not Stargate, but any of the Star Trek series. I think it's a better written show than Star Trek the original series, and I certainly think it's a better show than uh, Star Trek Next Generation or Enterprise or Voyager or any of those. Stargate SG-1 is a show for really geeky, geeky kind of sci-fi fans like me. And if you're into that kind of thing, if you're into exploring strange new worlds and seeking out new life and new civilizations, give Stargate SG-1 a roll. It's funny. It's poignant, it's touching, it's everything you would want a sci-fi show to be. The first season, particularly, is very impressive. Starts going downhill around, I think, season 8 or season 9. But, you know, watch the first few seasons, and it's, it's a fantastic show. I think it's probably the best sci-fi show I've ever seen, or certainly my favorite. Number three, my favorite movie is WALL-E, but Lord of the Rings is what I personally see as being the best film ever made. All three of them put together as one powerful unit. Other favorites include Pan's Labyrinth, Superman Returns. Go ahead and laugh. I love Superman Returns. I personally think it's a brilliant movie. I love the writing. I love the homages to the original first two films. Bite Me, it's a great movie. Howl's Moving Castle, Mary Poppins, which is the best Disney film ever besides Wally, which is, oh my God, I love Wally. I could go on and on about Wally. The Departed, which is, oh my God, The Departed is such a good movie. Oh my dear God. Leonardo DiCaprio and, damn it, what's the one guy? He's, from, he's in The Shining. I, I can see his face. I don't, why can't I think of the name of the darn actor? It's, it's the guy from The Shining and, Darn it, he's on the front cover of The Shining. That's all you need to know. And there's a lot more other ones that I can't think of. I'm a big movie nut. I love the heck out of movies. Um, good films, though. If they're bad films, I hate them, typically. I'm very picky. There's a lot of movies that people don't like that I personally love. But, you know, everybody has that issue. It's nothing new. 
Number two, I am a huge, huge, massive Tim Burton fan. Pretty much every movie that Tim Burton's made, I've loved in some degree, except for Planet of the Apes and maybe a couple other ones. But Tim Burton in general, I view as a genius. His films are visionary. Sure, they all have the same tone. Sure, they all look the same. But come on, that's Tim Burton. That's what we hire him for to do this movie. If it's a Tim Burton movie, we want to see a Tim Burton movie. Great art design. Always, he has a really twisted sense of humor to him that I really admire. You watch Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barmer of Fleet Street, Beetlejuice, even I would say the remake of uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I think it's, it was a funny movie. I thought it was funny as hell. It made me laugh all the way through. Sure, it's not a remake of the original movie. It's a remake of the source material that inspired that movie. So it's a different twist on it. It's darker. It's a little bit edgier. Willy Wonka kind of acts like a child molester. It's supposed to be funny. It's a comedy. It isn't necessarily... It isn't trying to repl replicate the same tone as the classic film. You can not like it all you want to, but that's my justification for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I can justify all of Tim Burton's films because they're all except for Planet of the Apes, which sucked, and a couple other ones that I'm probably forgetting about. For people who don't like Tim Burton, or people who are really not all that educated in the ways of Tim Burton, check out Ed Wood. Even if you're not a Tim Burton fan, even if you hate Tim Burton with every fiber of your being, you've got to admit, Ed Wood is a damn good movie. Number one, I'm thinking about going into psychology as my major at this moment. I don't have a major even though I've been going to community college for two years, I'm thinking about going into psychology because I want to be a counselor. Uh, counseling people is something that generally interests me. Uh, I mean, I would love to get into that sort of career, helping people. That's what I want to do. I want to guide them. I want to be a, a guider, a counselor, if you will. But... Part of the issue with this particular career is that it's not the most high-paying or prestigious career on the face of the planet, but I really start to look at it, and it's like, well, I really don't need a high-paying, prestigious career. I just need enough to support myself, and if I'm happy with what I'm doing, that's, that's all that really matters. I just want a career that I can settle down and be happy with. All right, so that was my tag. Now I need to tag a few people. Uh, off the top of my head, okay, JB Game Reviews, Magus X1, um, who else can I tag here? Can't tag Master Seth 555 again. Okay, Prime Sonic YT, which is Prime Sonic for those of you who don't know. Um, and I'll leave it at that. I'll only tag three people. No, I got to tag five because there's five questions. I think you need to tag five people. Shoot. Okay, now I've got to pick. Got to think closely. Okay. M Skull, I'm tagging you as well. And let me see. Let me pull up my YouTube now. I'm getting desperate. It's like, I can't think of anybody. Got to find somebody to tag. Okay. Going on to YouTube. So sorry for if that made a lot of noise right there. Okay. Clicking onto my profile. Clicky, clicky, clicky. I only have 54 subscribers. We really need to remedy that. I need to get up to 100. I deserve 100. Okay, room cleaning stop. You're tagged. All right, this is Gotta Love Breath, and I am signing out. See you all a little bit later. To clarify who I tagged, JB Game Reviews, Prime Sonic YT, Magus X1, Madison Skull, and room cleaning stop. All right, see you all a little bit later. Because I love you all so much and I want to give you hugs, but I can't because I'm on the microphone and I can't give you hugs because you're just virtual peoples to me. You're not real peoples, but that's okay because I love you all anyways. I didn't even press the stop recording. Such a moron.